guys and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. My name's Liv, I'm 26 and I've got a two and a half year old little boy called Arlo. I'm based in the UK, I was actually born in Oxfordshire, now I live in Bedfordshire. But today's video, what I wanted to do was, this is actually probably one of my most requested videos, toy storage organisation ideas for your kids playroom and also I'm going to share with you all of my hacks and things I've come across and that I've made throughout the years and have really helped me get on top of storing Arlo's toys. Don't get me wrong, it still looks like a complete tip in this area majority of the time. So this play area here is Arlo's little play corner within our living room, dining room area. It's just like a little alcove that's under the stairs and I wanted to make it his own so he's got his own like little table and storage solutions and everything in this area. I do find that when you're creating a kid's space or a kid's bedroom, playroom, it can be a bit overwhelming to know what to buy. Um, and I know like for myself that I'd come to this sort of video to get inspiration and see how I can use it to make my own kid's space. So I hope this video is of some help for you. So I would say this is probably like the main focal point of the play area and it's Arlo's table. This isn't just a table it has storage inside it for stationery, pens, pencils and like arts and crafty bits. So I'll open it up now and show you. This one is actually from Ikea and it's called the Flissap Table. It's £75 in the UK and I think that works out with like $89 or something in the US. But basically, you pop open these bits here and that's another hack I'll go on to you next. But you pop open these bits here and you've got all of these different compartments. The trays itself, you can use either the ones from the Trophas unit here, but these ones, I bought these ones here, which were four pounds because they've got different compartments in them. So I store like Arlo's pens and pencils, paint brushes, googly eyes, um, crayons, all those sort of things. And he's two and a half at the moment. He can't get into these yet. So I can still store things like pens and sharpies and stuff in here without him being able to get to it which is amazing it comes with these tabletop things here i have seen some people on etsy make stickers for them like different things like woodland stickers the shop that comes to mind is felix and iris who specialize in ikea customizable designs so definitely check out them i'm just going to wipe this off as well while it's here so what i've done is use blackboard paper from Amazon you could also use whiteboard paper um, and all you do is peel and stick it on top so for example we've got like some chalks here so I could do the alphabet Arlo could just do random drawing on here so I stuck this on one side and because I like him to still have his like dinner and stuff on this table I always pop it back this way just so it's easy to wipe like if he gets food on it and stuff but it's a really cool hack to know if you want them to like do some drawing and use the chalk so that is I'd say like the best thing to buy for your kids um, playroom if you don't have space then I do have another little hack for you to use as well and then this is the Flissat stool from Ikea as well that I just think looks really cute under there. So you can put two under there if you've got two children. Um, but I do think it's like probably the best piece of furniture we got for this area. The other piece of furniture that I absolutely love and I've got in every single one of my kids setups is the Trophast unit. This is so multifunctional, it has so many different uses, so many different hacks and I'll share with you everything that I know about it right now. So the Trophast unit is £99 here in the UK and you can get it in like a range of different forms. You can get one that's like completely upright, that's sort of like a stair design. I've got the one like this and you can also get like the bigger boxes. So let me just move over and show you. So say if you have loads of like really big toys, you could get three of these boxes. If you've got little bits and bobs, you can get these ones so it's quite versatile in the way that it's made what i love about it as well is it's a pine design so it means you can either keep it like this or you can paint it really easily you could use maybe some stencil stickers and make it look really fun and cute for a play area you can also get it in a white color 
and I love the design of this one as well because what you could do, what I've seen some people do, is either use it so you can put the trophar shelf on top of it like this, which I think is so multifunctional and useful, or you can put the trophar shelf onto the wall, like secure it onto the wall. So you could put a floor cushion on top of it and use it as a bench. You could have two of the trophar units together and have like a big window seat. I think that's a nice idea. But I'm using it like this here today. So I've got the trophar shelf on top of it, which has like smaller tubs. I find these tubs really good for storing things like cars or dinosaurs or little bits and bobs that you have here and there. And what I love about the Trophage unit is it's, it looks like a statement piece and you can use it in so many different ways. It's great for storage, it stores so much. You can even get another one of these, stack them on top of each other. I've seen some people do that. And it fits in small spaces, which is amazing. And I'm gonna show you a little hack as well that you could do. Say if you've only got like this amount of space to put your kids' play stuff, you can take the middle one out You can take the middle one out and you can put the stall in here and use this as a table so when your little one comes and sits down they can pull it out they've got somewhere for their little legs to go and they can do arts and crafts on here which i think is such a fab little hack to use but for now i've got my little table here so we are all set but i hope that just helps somebody so the Trophars and the Trophar shelf are absolutely brilliant for storing bits of different toys and I've got a few little hacks that you might want to try out too. The first one is another IKEA hack and this is called the Ostbit plate holder. It's actually in the kitchen section, it's £3 in the UK. They do it in the US too in all different countries but all you basically do is put it down and you can use it as a book stack. I love this as well for Montessori, so your children can reach, they have books readily accessible, they don't have too many to choose from, like you can do book rotation, and we switch it out as well with seasonal books, like at the minute we've got Halloween-y stuff. So I really love this, and I think it's such a fab price. Another hack you could use for this is putting puzzles on there as well, it's really great for puzzle storage. Alternatively for book storage, I've got a system in Arlo's nanny's house, We've got a room for him over there, the woodland room, and it's great for storing books. It's actually a picture ledge, it's called the Moslander picture ledge. They're £10 and then £5 for the smaller one. I join them together and put them across a few different layers and it's great for book storage. What I would suggest as well, like for me, I use it more as like a picture ledge to store pictures. But if I was using it more as a book ledge, I would put them closer down to the floor to make it easier for them to reach it. Alternatively, I do also have in his room upstairs, I use the Flissat shelves. So the Flissat shelves are the longer ones that I use. I have three of them. So I have two upright and then I have one flipped upside down. So I can use it for storing like ornaments and storing different bits of like decor and stuff and then have the bottom two to store books. I find that having a bookshelf like this is really good because you can switch up like decor pieces, seasonal decor, and I think it looks really, really cute in the pine color as well. And then moving on to the next hack. This one is great for storing flashcards and puzzles. This is from Amazon. You can get loads of different types. This one I got was a multicolored one just because I thought it was really fun. And in here we have puzzles, flashcards, you name it, loads of different things. So like we've got the mix and match one here. We've got a dinosaur puzzle. We've got flashcards and they fit just in these boxes. Like you can literally, that's all of the puzzle pieces for this one. So they're great for like toddler size puzzles. Obviously if you're getting bigger puzzles for your bigger kids, then something you could use is like Ziploc bags and then you can cut out the front picture and put it in the front of the Ziploc bag so you can still see the picture. Um, so that's another alternative that we'll probably move on to as Arlo gets older and we'll probably just use this as like flashcard storage. So I do love this little box and it's really satisfying as well just to tuck everything away in there. Moving on to the next little hack I've got. This one is Play-Doh storage. So this originally was a coffee pod holder that I spray painted. I think I need to give it another spray paint because I did it in like a rush. 
but it's absolutely fab for play-doh storage it's from amazon it was black originally and you can literally fit so many more different play-doh pots in here it's lovely and it looks really aesthetic as well and then the next hack that's in this little corner is my art storage frame which i absolutely love and i have found a cheaper alternative as well like if you're on a budget and you want to buy a few of them so this one is like a wooden one a3 size and all you do is unclick it here and it opens up you can put your picture in this side let me turn you around so you can see so you can see a little bit better there so you can put your picture in this side and then here it's got this like piece of card and you can store arts and different paintings they do so my solution for when you're getting like paintings and pictures and stuff when they come back from nursery and you have no clue what to do with it like me I just used to dump it on the side things would get lost and I wanted to like honor their pictures more so what I did was first of all I put it in this like little crate this one was three pounds and this sits on top of his little kitchen over there and I just dump things in like this and then I will display some things either in here and switch this one up and then when I have the time like I need to do this week probably is I then transfer it over to his scrapbook this was from Wilco um, but I'm sure you can get them from like anywhere so I basically just stick them in here so this was when Arlo was one and it was like Christmassy stuff and it's got so many more pages so like I can just continue adding to it over time and everything's kept in one place really safe so I love that idea the next storage hack I wanted to show you was a storage hack for storing Duplo or Lego in sets so this here is a fruit and vegetable bag this one was 30 pence from Tesco I'm sure you can get similar in like any supermarket but I find they're really good for separating sets and keeping sets like categorized so I love that we also use it for like the play-doh tools so he's got like little cutters and stuff so we have a separate one for those but for 30 pence I think it's such a fab storage hack a really fun way that I love storing paint supplies is using a lazy Susan I find it's just really good for like having paints accessible to them and it looks so so pretty especially if you like putting it in colour order so this one I have got from John Lewis they don't do it anymore but it's the home edit collection so if you're in the US you can probably get it from like Target or anywhere like that they don't do it anymore in the UK so I've been on the hunt to try and find a Lazy Susan that is just as good as this one and I think I finally found it so I went into B&M the other day and this one was in there. It's a clear one, which I think may even be better than that one because you can see the different color paint. It just looks a bit more satisfying. So this one was a lot cheaper. I can't remember exactly how much that one was, but it was a lot cheaper, this one. And it's eight pounds from B&M. I absolutely love it. And I think it's a really good cheaper alternative to having like paint supplies displayed all pretty in their play area another little hack that I love for car storage is using a magnetic strip so you can get one of these from Amazon for just like a few pounds and basically you just peel and stick it because it's got like a sticky back peel and stick it on to anywhere you want I put it onto the side of the Trofast unit just for like smart storage and also to make the cars accessible to Arlo's height and then what you do is some of the cars you have might already be magnetic if they're not you stick and cut a little bit of a strip on the back of the car and then they just stick to the magnetic strip and you can make like a little car parking lot um and yeah i just think it's really really cute obviously bear in mind that this one just works for like the smaller car so if you have like big jcbs or trucks like that i would definitely store them in these crates here we also have a little handmade um, basket which was from Loopcraft Handmade and I love having one of these out just to dump like a few dinosaurs or sorry about that cars and different bits in there just so they're in reach what I have been trying to do as well is like each day get a different collection of things and put it in here so <laughs> 
so he isn't so inclined to go in these drawers and like pull everything out so i have been trying to do that just to like reduce stress and mess levels alternatively i do have this pear basket here which is super cute and to be honest I think it's more for the like aesthetic look of it rather than the storage itself because it is fairly expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I got it from the Scandiborn website um, and it was sent to me, it was a gift. I didn't buy it myself, nor would I at the price it was, but it is pretty nonetheless. And you can store different things in here. So I've just got like, I think this one's mainly for like teddy bear storage um, and just a few other things dumped in here that I can't be bothered to put away. So this is like the holding cell for toys before I move them to where they're meant to be. And you can just pop the little lid on top to hide it all away. And it looks really pretty. The next thing in Arlo's play corner that I also use as a storage solution as well is his play kitchen. So what I've done at the moment because the tap is actually on charge, I'll show you that in a second. But this kitchen here was from Ikea. They do a white one, they do a red one as well. So I bought the white one and I gave it a bit of a makeover. If you're interested in seeing the process of how I made over this play corner, I've got a whole separate video on that. So you can go check that one out after this one ends. But as you can see here, I like put the paint supplies on top so Arlo can't reach them and his artwork so we can just dump it in straight from when he gets back from nursery. When I switched out these trays that are in here as well, which were the same ones as those and put the like pen compartment ones in, we had two leftover trays that were just the plain trays. So they fit perfectly under here. This is like a mix match of like arts and craftsy stuff. I've just hidden under here for now but these fit perfectly underneath the kitchen as well if you want to just save some space it's a great little hack to try out. We do also have in his kitchen um, like a little mixer which is from Kenwood which actually does work um, so we've got him that we've not actually used it yet but I think it's more for decoration and then we've got this tap which is from Amazon and we've got like a little container underneath we've drilled some holes in the existing sink unit so he can get some fresh water and just be a little bit more self-sufficient and I love this because it's like Montessori as well so all you do is literally turn it on like that and the water comes out and then it goes through this hole here so I do love that feature as well in his kitchen. <laughs> I hope you guys have liked this video. I've loved making it and I will be doing also a kids bedroom storage video shortly on my channel. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I hope this video has helped you as well in some way. It can be so totally overwhelming being a mum or being a parent and trying to work out like the best way to store things. So I hope I've given you some inspiration for some of the hacks. Send in so much love to you guys. Please make sure you also put me a like and a comment and just let me know you watched and if you found this video useful and I'm wishing you a lovely rest of your week.